Astronaut fans. Roll at the logbook.com. We're on the IBM PC. Back in the days of DOS, playing Seamus? Shamus? Have we ever figured out how to pronounce this? Now, interestingly enough, this was a first party game. It had previously been published by other publishers. For other platforms, but IBM was, you know, having kind of successfully sold the PC into the the business computing market. They were now trying to say, "Hey, look, we're fun too." You fire by pressing the ALT button, and of course, you fire in whichever direction you're pointing. I know those of us who have spent a lot of time with MAME have a tendency to really lay on the arrow keys. Don't do that here, because it will register all of those key presses, all of those milliseconds of key press. And it will faithfully execute them in order, which means you may run into the electrified walls. The graphics are really exceedingly simple. Not quite as polished as the graphics on this same game for, say, the Atari home computers. Oh, oh, oh no. I've been Seamus. Now the interesting thing is you can if you leave numlock off can move and aim in diagonals.
Although sometimes that's almost more trouble than it's worth. Especially with movement in a confined space like this one. Uh, too many diagonal key presses. Just like too many key presses in any other direction. Could send you to your doom. But occasionally it comes in handy, as I just demonstrated. Especially since they're going to shoot diagonally, too. They can, they can shoot each other diagonally as well. Bye. Is there a convention and no one told me? Oh, Al. that was the thing I was there to pick up. Well, there you have it. Seamus on the PC. Um, you know, very, very, very CGA. It, uh, it wasn't going to set the world on fire and probably wasn't going to convince anyone that the PC was fun. But if you had a PC, it was probably nice to have this little gem in your library. <laughs>